God, is it nice to be here. I'm dealing with a uh, possum problem at the house. <laughs> Just moved into a new house. Me and my wife, we like to go in the yard at night, have a little wine. And these possums are comfortable. <laughs> like if they could talk, they'd be like, what the hell are you doing here? Now, growing up, I grew up in an immigrant family and how we handled possums, raccoons. My father would be like, we're going to murder the bastard. <laughs> we're going to pour antifreeze on baloney. <laughs> what? <laughs> Woke up in the morning, birds, squirrels, raccoons just murdered all over her property. <laughs> Neighbors coming by, have you seen our cat? Nah, we haven't seen it. Check the yard. <laughs> but my wife, she didn't grow up this way. We gotta call the possum police. <laughs> it's a humane service, they come over, $150 traps. Guy tells me uh, it's $35 extra for the, uh, for the bait. I said, uh, what are you using? He's like, uh, peanut butter. <laughs> $35 for peanut butter? I got dollar twenty-three Jiffy inside. What kind of... <laughs> then he tells me it's $75 per possum that he removes. I said, where are you taking the possums? <laughs> It's like I drive them 30 miles away. I let them go in Malibu. <laughs> now, I don't believe a word this guy's telling me. I think he goes down the block, lets it out. <laughs> He's making $75 on the same possum. <laughs> so I say, you think I'm dumb? Think I'm dumb? First one we catch, I spray paint it. I'm tagging the possum. <laughs> the guy came over, he's like, I've never seen a blue one before. <laughs> I said, yeah, and if I see it again, we're gonna have a problem. Now take the thing to Malibu. <laughs> But I don't know if you people have ever had like a trap in your yard, but it brings an excitement to the house. <laughs> Every few hours, me and my wife were going to the window. We catch anything out there? <laughs> One morning we caught a squirrel. The guy told me this would happen. A squirrel could get in there. He's like, if it does, just let it go. So I went to go take the squirrel out, right? Something was wrong with the squirrel. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. <laughs> and it I go, I, I'm not letting this out. My luck, I let it out. This thing's all over me. I'm not fighting a squirrel on a Tuesday morning at 7.30. So I give my wife a 20. <laughs> and I tell her, go across the street. There's a Mexican gardener across the street. Mexicans, they're not as scared of anything. They'll come over with their bare hands, get it out, and throw it down the sidewalk. goes by, she calls me from the driveway. She's got three Mexican gardeners with her. I call her, come here, come here. I said, the whole reason for you to go do this was to act like you were home alone and you didn't want to let the squirrel out. Now I got to look three grown men in the eye. The squirrel's back here. We're kind of scared. It's foaming at the mouth. Could you do it? You guys have been great. Happy holidays.